To make a claim for PIP, you need to live in Northern Ireland and usually have lived in Northern Ireland, Great Britain, Isle of Man, Jersey or Guernsey for two out of the last three years. If you have moved to the UK or Northern Ireland from abroad and are not a British or Irish citizen, you may still be entitled to benefits. Visit www.nidirect.gov.uk forward slash benefit dash guide. How you can claim PIP. You, a friend, a relative or your representative can make a claim for PIP by phone. If someone else speaks on your behalf, you must be with them when they call. You can call the PIP Centre on free phone number 0800 012 1573 or text phone 0800 587 0937. If you use British Sign Language, BSL, or Irish Sign Language, ISL, you can contact PIP via an interpreter. To access the Sign Language Video Relay Service, visit www.nidirect.gov.uk forward slash pip dash centre dash ni. You can also claim by post, but it may take longer. Write to free post rtrt dash ekug dash kxjr pip mou PO Box 42 Limavati BT 494AN. When you make a claim for PIP, you will be asked for some personal information. It would be helpful to have this information ready before you call the PIP Centre. You will need to give your date of birth, your contact details, including your address and telephone number, and your national insurance number, which you will find on any letters about tax, benefits or pensions. If you have applied for a national insurance number, but has not been provided yet, you can still make a claim. You will also need to give your bank or building society details, the name, address and telephone number of your doctor or health worker, and the dates for any time you spent abroad for more than four weeks at a time and the countries you visited. After you have claimed PIP, you will be asked to complete the How Your Disability Affects You form. You should complete this form and return it to PIP within one month. If you need extra time to send the form back to PIP or to provide any supporting evidence, contact the PIP Centre to let them know. There are some notes with the form to help you fill it in. There are also organisations that can help you fill in the form, for example, Advice NI or a local support organisation. More information can be found at the Help and Support section at www.nidirect.gov.uk forward slash pip. When you fill in the form, think about what activities are difficult for you to do during the day or at night. For example, eating and drinking, preparing food, washing and bathing, using the toilet, dressing and undressing, Reading and communicating, making decisions about money, managing your medicines or treatments, socialising and being around other people, working out a route and following it, and moving around. Remember, your claim is not about your disability or your health condition. It is about how your disability or health condition affects your everyday life you can provide additional evidence to support your claim. Here is a list of additional evidence you may wish to include with your form. You can send us medical reports or treatment plans, letters you may have from your consultant about your condition or diagnosis, your current prescription list, any care plans you have, and test results you have from scans, hearing, or vision tests. For information on the types of supporting evidence to send PIP, see the section Information to support your claim at www.nidirect.gov.uk forward slash PIP. You should not ask your doctor or consultant for a written health report if you do not have one already, as you may have to pay for it. 
only send copies of documents you already have available to you. Here are some examples of documents that are not useful. Appointment cards or letters. General information or fact sheets about your condition or medication. Bus or train tickets. Once you're completed how your disability affects you form is received, it will be referred to a health professional with your supporting evidence. A health professional may in some cases contact your doctor or another health professional for further information. Supporting evidence should normally be provided within one month from your application to PIP. You should only provide evidence that you already have. If you require more time to gather evidence, you can contact PIP by visiting www.nidirect.gov.uk forward slash PIP dash centre dash NI. How much PIP you can get depends on how difficult you find 1. Everyday activities called daily living tasks and 2. Getting around called mobility tasks. More information on what counts as daily living and mobility tasks and how these relate to how much you can get can be found at the High PIP Work section on NI Direct. If you would like independent help and advice on PIP, you can visit the Help and Support section on www.nidirect.gov.uk forward slash PIP. The latest information on PIP in Northern Ireland is available on NI Direct. Other videos can help you to decide if you can apply for PIP and explain the claim process. There is a special process for people nearing the end of life. This video is a guide only. To make a PIP claim, visit www.nidirect.gov.uk forward slash PIP dash center dash NI.